Hi there, and welcome to Take a Bite Diabetes channel. My name is Alejandra Cordobes, and I am a registered dietitian and certified diabetes educator. Today, I'm gonna do a quick video showing you how to fill a tandem pump cartridge. So this is something that's a little overwhelming, definitely the first couple of times you do it. I promise that the more you do it, this will become an easy process and you'll be able to practically do it half asleep if you needed to. This is also a good video for grandparents or any caregivers who want a little bit um, more, like a slower video explaining how to do the whole process. So I hope you enjoy this video and you find it helpful, okay? So the first thing you need to fill your tandem pump cartridge is obviously the cartridge itself. Inside of that same box of cartridges, you're gonna find a, a needle as well as a syringe, okay? So the first thing you wanna do is go ahead and open all these little baggies up. They all open up very simple on one side, it's kind of like opening up a cheese stick, right? So I tell all my patients with diabetes, You've probably eaten more cheese sticks than you've ever wanted to in a lifetime, so this should be uh, easy or at least a familiar process. Okay, so the first thing I do is I'll grab, let me finish opening everything up first. So open all, all your things so everything's ready to go. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna piece together the syringe, okay? So on top of your syringe, there's like a little cover here. You can kind of twist or pull it off and you're gonna grab your syringe, okay? So here you're simply twisting the needle onto the syringe. It's a simple twist, twist, twist. You make sure it's tight. That's pretty much all you have to do, okay? Now the next step is you're going to remove the needle cap, okay? So I'm pulling this straight up. Don't twist it, otherwise you'll take it out. And now we're gonna grab your insulin. All right, now I'm obviously using normal saline for demonstration purposes, but you wanna make sure that the only insulin you're putting in your pump is either Novolog or Humalog. Only rapid acting insulin is going to be going into your pump, okay? Now the tandem pump holds up to 300 units of insulin, okay? Now you're not gonna fill this with 300 units if you do not use 300 units of insulin in three days. So let's say I use about 50 units of insulin a day times three, I'm looking at about 150 units, and I'll always add an additional 15 to 20 to 25 units for the tubing, depending on your tubing length, okay? So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna fill the syringe with air. So I'm gonna pull back on my syringe. Um, let's say I'm gonna pull it down to the two, two, okay? So two would be 200 units, one would be 100 if you go all the way down to the three, then that would be your 300 units, okay? Now you're gonna grab your vial of insulin and you're gonna stick your syringe straight into your little port and you're gonna push all the air into your vial, okay? Now I prefer it to be upright like this. If you push the air when the vial is upside down, then you might be creating more air bubbles, okay? So I'm pushing all the air into my vial now I'm gonna hold on to the plunger and turn everything upside down, okay? So what this does is it creates a pressure so that when you let go of the plunger, you can see that the um, syringe kind of starts to fill on its own, okay? This process just helps you get less air bubbles into your uh, syringe, which is just saves you a little bit of extra time later, okay? Now, if you have any bubbles all the way at the top here, you can kind of push your plunger up a little, see if they come out. If you have any bubbles on the sides of the syringe, just leave them there for now, because you're gonna see the next step, we're probably gonna add more air to this. All right, so I'm gonna remove my vial, and now I'm gonna grab my cartridge, all right? So you have this small tubing here. Next to the tubing, there's a little white port, okay? And you're gonna insert your syringe straight into this port, okay? So I'm gonna stick my syringe straight in. Now I'm gonna push it in until I feel I hit something, okay? The whole needle may or may not go in. It doesn't have to. It does not usually go in all the way, okay? If it does, you're, you're fine too. All right, now the next step we're doing here is we're gonna manually remove any air that might be inside of this cartridge. So there's two ways of doing this. I like to scissor these two fingers around the syringe 
and then I'll grab my bottom fingers to hold my cartridge and my syringe all with one hand because I'm gonna need my hand, this hand to do something else, okay? If this is too hard to maneuver, sometimes you can grab everything like this if that's an easier hold. Um, and again, what we're trying to do is we're making sure that this syringe doesn't come out of the cartridge, okay? So I'm gonna hold it like this just because it's a little bit easier to see what I'm doing here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my free hand, I'm gonna put my middle finger on this little ledge here. This is kind of pushing down to make sure again that your syringe does not come out of your cartridge. And I'm gonna grab these two fingers, I'm gonna grab the end of the plunger and I'm going to pull up, okay? Now you see how these little bubbles come up? Then I'm gonna release the plunger. It's gonna fall back down, but the air bubbles stay inside of my syringe. They don't fall back inside. So you can do that once or twice. Don't spend all day doing that. You just do it once or twice, okay? Now we need to get the air out of here, okay? So now is a good time where you're gonna take out your cartridge. You're gonna um, have your needle face up and now we're gonna flick all our air bubbles to the top of the syringe, okay? Now, once we've pushed all the air to the top, I'm gonna pull the plunger down because I find when all the air collects up here, then I'm not pushing some insulin out along with some air, and then I'm not really sure when I've actually gotten everything out, right? So fill the top part with air. Now you can go ahead and pull your plunger up, and when you see drops coming out at the end of your syringe, you're good to go, okay? Give it one last check, make sure you don't have any big air bubbles here. Um, what air does is it replaces insulin, okay? Especially if you're using teeny tiny amounts of insulin, a big pocket of air will replace insulin. So if you think you're getting five units, maybe you're only getting two, okay? So a little bit of work here is gonna save you headache later, wondering why your blood sugars might be running high, okay? All right, so back to our cartridge. We grab the cartridge, our syringe, we're gonna stick it back in the same port where we just had it. Again, straight in until you feel you hit something. And now you're gonna go ahead and push, push your plunger down and insert all the insulin into your cartridge. Okay, keep the plunger held down, remove the syringe. You can go ahead and grab your little cap and close your syringe, okay? And that's it. So now your cartridge is full and you're ready to put it into your pump. I hope you found this video helpful. I will um, have another video showing you how to insert your cartridge into your pump.